basically the most important thing that schools can do to address traditional bullying as well as cyberbullying is to foster a positive school climate. What does that mean? That means that schools have a responsibility to ensure that everybody feels part of the community, that they are respected and valued individuals in the school. And that that is not just happening between teachers and teachers, it's happening between teachers and students, and it's happening between administrators and teachers. So that every dyadic interaction that happens, there is a feeling of respect and value for our, all of the individuals. Uh, one of the things I thought was really interesting when I uh, was asked to participate today was this first panel was something along the lines of what's not going right in the schools, I'm paraphrasing poorly. Um, but I, I think that's an interesting uh, way to, to, to look at it because uh, what's going right is there's more awareness of this issue of bullying than, than ever before in, in, in memory, uh, in, in recent memory, certainly. Um, and that's wonderful, but the awareness in and of itself doesn't solve the problem. Um, just putting up the posters doesn't solve the problem. Just having an anti-bully day or a no name calling day doesn't solve the problem. And as a school employee, it's fascinating because um, I do go to conferences and I, and I do trainings myself. Um, and when I look at what is now available for schools to really try to address bullying, um, that's the, really the first time that I panicked uh, because we have a real problem on our hands and we have uh, essentially very few solutions. Um, and we in the schools have been sort of given the mandate to fix this problem uh, with essentially no training, absolutely no money, and uh, to tackle well, something that... the that fact that you can have all the knowledge in the world of the cyberspace and uh, no more than your students or your children, but a parent has to know the child and take an interest in that child, and there's no manual that can tell you that. It's your home, your child, and you have to um, be aware of behaviors, changes in behaviors. So what you're having now is that people can send out mass, texts, uh, mass text messages, SMS messages, very easily. And so um, the problem that I've been looking at there was, so I'll just real quickly, there was a, an instance in, um, in India in the fall where a message that they believe was emanating from Pakistan, or basically a mass a message was sent to thousands of people, and then we know the way that these sort of prolifer proliferate. And then all you have to do is hit a button that says burn, and it disappears. So there's so many ways now that people can pretend to be other people, certain ways where they can um, you know, troll or, or humiliate or make fun and that sort of thing. I, I think, you know, also too, um, as our special agent was talking, you know, we start looking at hacking and that sort of thing. We see a lot of uh, young boys and girls where they're hacking. Uh, first of all, let me, let me, let me step back uh, without the cynical, the cynical sidebar there. Uh, as a father of a 13-year-old boy, um, you know, I have a, a personal perspective on this issue. I also benefit from the fact that I am as I stated earlier, educated in technology. My son is learning his technology for me. I would, I would venture a guess that 99% of the, the parental units out One person has heard of a slam book. You, you've heard of a slam book. Two people. Um, well, a slam book was my first personal experience, and I tend to get a little personal, again, in all the work that I do, um, with bullying. Do you know what a slam book is? Sorry. Yeah. A slam book is a notebook of sorts where notes are um, passed around to um, peers who write evaluations or um, all the major right. means of gang retention and recruitment. So among the most important of our modern understandings is that bullying is a systemic problem. It exists as a function of the ecology of schools. That's what the academics would call it these days, that it's an ecological model to understand.